friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I love a good grocery shopping trip. I love to grocery shop, as weird as that might sound, and I'm excited to bring to you a big haul from both Sprouts and Walmart. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because we do a grocery haul every single Saturday, and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories. Highly recommend. Get yours done before the new year so you can hit all of your 2023 goals, and I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Well, links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let me turn you around and let's get into the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I went to both Walmart and to Sprouts, mainly to Sprouts for my produce. You guys know I love picking up my produce there and I actually found some really good deals. So let's jump into the grocery haul. So the first thing I picked up are my mini cucumbers. We love these. We usually go through an entire bag of these in the course of a week. They're just so crunchy and good. I really, really love those. And then I needed a huge bag of broccoli. I have a couple of recipes that calls for broccoli and it was less expensive to buy the big bulk bag rather than the couple of the small bags. I also needed some snow peas for a dinner recipe. I'm making a crock pot kind of lo mein Chinese recipe. I'm really excited for it. You guys will see it in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I also needed an orange for my meal prep, a green bell pepper. I decided to grab some baby spinach because I really need to work on getting in some leafy greens. I do not eat salad and I never think about just buying spinach that I can add to things like my eggs or my smoothies. So I went ahead and grabbed a big container and my goal is to eat this entire thing this next week. And then I grabbed some arugula too because it was on sale for $1.50. And I like to put this on wraps and sandwiches. It's really good in eggs. I think I'm gonna put some of it on my chicken salad that I made in last week's meal prep for a little bit of crunch and a little bit of flavor. It's kind of a peppery flavor. I really like it. And then I grabbed some parsley, fresh, just curl leaf parsley for a dinner recipe. Raspberries for the week. I have blueberries and I ordered apples from Imperfect Foods. So I decided to grab a couple packs of raspberries for an extra fruit. We did some celery for a dinner recipe and then whatever's left over I'll use for snacking. Little baby sliced up baby bella mushrooms for a recipe. And then these carrots. I bought these before and I actually really like these. They're little organic mini carrots. They were on sale for $2. I think what I'm going to do is cut them up and put them in my air fryer and have them as kind of a carrot chip as part of my lunch today. So I'm excited for that. It'll help me get in some veggies. I grabbed some green onions, a couple of carrots, and then I picked up the Vital Farms hard boiled eggs because these were on sale for $2.90, normally $6. They don't expire for a few days and we love hard boiled eggs and it's just really convenient to have them on hand. So I know that we'll eat those up. So that's everything that I picked up this week from Sprouts. I grabbed a box of sugar-free cake mix. This is for my meal prep. I'm really excited for meal prep this next week. Stay tuned. After the grocery haul, I'll go over everything that's on my din dinner menu and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. I had to grab one more pack of candy canes for the season. This is my favorite thing at Christmas time, and you can only get them at Christmas time, so I always like to stock up and enjoy these all holiday season. A gallon of 1% milk for Troy, and also that I what I didn't bring in from the garage is a case of water, case of Diet Coke, case of Coors Light. Those all go in our garage fridge, but I picked those up too. A can of low fat cream of mushroom soup for a dinner recipe. And then I also needed a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And like I mentioned, I was completely out of baking powder, so I picked that up. And then lastly, for that lo mein, I needed a can of water chestnuts. I'm getting ready for my protein pudding video. I'm stocking up on all the things that I need. So I grabbed a few things from Walmart, including the sugar-free Smucker's Caramel Sauce. I'm going to be incorporating these things into my protein pudding recipes. And then for that crock pot lo mein, I needed a pork roast. So I grabbed a really lean one just to save on points 
calories and fat. And this one also doesn't have any bones and all the fat or the majority of it was trimmed off. I grabbed some hash browns for Troy. He wanted these last time I went to Walmart and they were completely out. So they had them this time, so I grabbed them. I needed some orange juice for a recipe and I thought if I picked up the 50% less calorie sugar orange juice, I could enjoy that with my breakfast as well as using it in that recipe. And then I also needed just a little bit of whole milk for a couple recipes as well. Crock pot liners, because I've been using my crock pot a lot and I am completely out, these are huge for cleanup. Makes my life so much easier. And then I was out of my wraps and I decided this time just to grab these snack size ones. The big ones are just too much for me and these are the perfect size and they're only 35 calories a piece. So I can use these for anything that I wanna make using a wrap. And again, Again, they're just really the perfect size. They're not too big and I will be able to finish the whole thing and I do enjoy the La Banderita carb counter. These two goodies are for my protein pudding recipe. So I have some Reese's minis and then this is perfect. This is a little mixed nut. So there's a whole bunch of different nuts in there cut up really finely, which will be great for protein pudding. I needed a lot of cheese, a lot of cheese as usual. So I have a bag of light shredded cheese, a bag of light mozzarella, and then sliced cheese. I went with extra sharp cheddar and then Colby Jack. My favorite sausages in the world are Gilbert's. This time I grabbed the bourbon apple. Uh, I had the caprese last time and this one just sounded really good. And then I needed cheese tortellini for a recipe. They had no frozen pasta whatsoever other than beef ravioli. So beef ravioli it is for that recipe and then lastly i grabbed some sugar-free maple syrup so that's everything that i picked up from both walmart and sprouts for the week let's get into dinner and what you'll see in meal prep so here's what is on my menu for the week today saturday we are actually heading to a christmas party so we're going to do leftovers tomorrow we'll have some leftovers from the christmas party for sunday on monday i'm doing a slow cooker low main that's the recipe i mentioned in my video so stay tuned for that in Wednesdays what I eat in a day. Tuesday we'll eat the leftovers of that. Wednesday I'm going to make enchiladas. I have everything on hand for that. Thursday I'm doing cheesy tortellini slash ravioli because they didn't have tortellini at Walmart with a sausage bake. And then Friday we'll do leftovers to finish up everything from earlier in the week. Here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm super excited for these recipes. For breakfast, I'm doing an overnight breakfast casserole. This is like a farmer's breakfast hearty casserole. For lunch, I'm making orange chicken. Super excited for that. I'm gonna make it into a bowl. And then for dessert, I'm making Christmas truffles. This will be a great recipe to have in your arsenal for the holidays. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Sprouts and Walmart. I feel like I am set up and ready for a successful week, which makes me really happy. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. You are not going to want to miss it. Bye! Jingle bells ringing in my ear